This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Welcome to Into the Fractal Verse. This is the video that I make for G66 on Thursdays. Um, today I wanted to do an Andy Timmons rig build on the FM9. I believe the FM9 are in stock in G66 UK if you were looking to grab one. I think also the Axe 3 and the FM3. You can run this particular preset on any of the units, so um, feel free to jump over to Gumroad if you want to check that out. Uh, you can get all my presets for £5 for all of them and I'll continue to update that when I drop new presets in there. But yeah, uh, thanks to G66, and um, I'll jump into the editor now, show you what the editor's like, because Fractal do have an editor which is really quite easy to use, and um, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to edit on the device itself, and then check out the editor. Um, this is based on some photos that I've seen from Andy Timmons' actual live rig when he went and did a gig um, in the UK for that pedal show and uh, some other videos around that. So hopefully it should get us somewhere in the ballpark. Even if it's not exact, I think it can give us some really cool tone. So here we are with the actual preset itself and uh, I've got four scenes. Uh, I'm just going to show you kind of, you know, what's going on. We've got the clean. <laughs> Then we kick on uh, what I'm using instead of a blues driver, which is the Chandler 3 knob. And that's your tone that you would use to kind of back off the game on your uh, guitar. Okay, and then we've got that with uh, an RC boost just in front. Do that 
sort of thing. And then we've also got the main lead tone for which I'm using the JHS BB Pre Axe. <laughs> Jumping in, we got a, a, just a normal pedal compressor at the front to kind of just sweeten things up a bit. And let's just go over to our scene two is where I'm playing most of the time here. The RCB, the uh, you know RC boost. We've got the bass down at about 2.64 and the treble at about 2.9. Uh, that's the basic settings. Gain at five and level at five. Um, then our tube driver. Uh, I've got the tone all the way in the middle, um, basically drive at about 4.2 and level about 5.28. And then that's really kind of touch responsive and cool. Um, then we've got the BB Pre at, I've got the gain there at about 7.3, bass and treble at 5 and level at 9.1. Uh, another thing you might want to consider using instead of this might be something like the Boxer Crunch, um, similar kind of settings, I think, but this might be even closer to Andy's JHS app pedal. <laughs> use the BB pre at is not on his board at the moment as far as I'm aware it's more this kind of JHS app pedal which is something like uh, a Marshall governor the M audio crunch box so that might be what I'd go <laughs> amp wise we're using the Lone Star um, with the gain at about five, bass take down a bit, uh, you know, it's a, a mark based amp, so you can take that bass down lower, mids and treble at about five, presence just below five, and master volume at about four. Then in the power tube section, I've changed the output tubes to EL34s, which is something that Andy Timmons does in real life, just to give it a bit more of that kind of martially bite. And the cab, I'm using 147 and 150. So that's basically the Texas Lone Star or the Mesa Boogie Lone Star with the 57 and a ribbon mic. Okay. And then last of all, I'm using the Aurora Delay, which is based on the Keeley Halo and his uh, kind of signature delay pedal. Um, the mix kind of lowish, about 13.2. <laughs> But kind of <laughs> kind of I think gets you maybe somewhere in the ballpark and even if it's not you know an exact one on one of Andy Timmons tone I think it gives you enough to play with that you can get some really inspiring stuff going on, especially this kind of second scene. Stick it on your fourth position. I hope 
that helps you, you can jump onto Gumroad if you want to try that preset out. Um, but those are some of the settings that I like and I've kind of researched over the months to, to try and get something in that ballpark of a really cool tone um, that can respond really well to your playing and your volume knob. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers for stopping by.